Well, good evening to all of you in El Paso. Although I'm, I'm unable to join you tonight, Nancy, you should know that it took a head of state to bump you off my calendar even as you good people sit down to roast Representative McDonald and raise money for the El Paso Mental Health Association, I'll be sitting down with Mexican President Carlos Salinas de Gotari in Mexico City. It was a tough call for me. I mean, here were my choices. Did I want to sit at a table next to President Salinas, a sophisticated, urbane, intelligent, witty, Harvard-educated gentleman, or did I want to sit at a table next to Will McDonald, who has never been accused of being sophisticated, urbane, or even polite? Did I want to spend the evening discussing common problems Texas and Mexico share, exploring ways to make the free trade agreement a win-win situation for both countries? Or did I want to spend the evening listening to Will McDonald ramble on, as only he can, about Nancy and all those children, Mary and Chuck and Nancy and Chris and Steve and Greg and Katie and Lizzie, Brendan and Mark and on and on it goes. Everybody loves to talk about their kids and grandkids, but Will pushes the limits of common decency. Like I said, it was a tough choice and I went with free trade over free speech. In all seriousness, this week-long trip to Mexico should have lasting benefits for all Texans. El Paso knows better than any other Texas city the importance Mexico plays in our state's economy. I've been fortunate enough to develop a very good relationship with President Salinas and the Mexican border state governors, and this visit will be dedicated to selling Texas goods and services in Mexico. In addition, much of our discussion will focus on joint projects to develop water treatment and wastewater treatment facilities along the border. As for your roastee here, I guess you selected Nancy because you knew she couldn't say no. Her record as the mother of 10 speaks for itself. Nancy's probably the only person I know who thinks the state legislature is a good place to get away and relax. 10 children is one thing but 10 in 13 years, the woman had to run for public office just to get out of the house. She is the only member of the legislature who likes these special sessions we've been having. And I guess it's because they're restricted access to the house floor and the kids can't get to her. But there's another group that Nancy hasn't been able to say no to. It is the public health care officials, those interested in prenatal care, treatment for AIDS patients, rural health care providers, and everyone dedicated to making quality health care available to all Texans. Next E. McDonald has carried more health care legislation in the last decade than anyone in the legislature. She has made public health her number one priority, and this state is better for it. I know she's not finished but it is in the arena of public health that Nancy McDonald will leave her legacy. And it's a good thing, Nancy, because I met most of your children. As I travel across Texas, it seems like every town I visit, another McDonald pops up out of the crowd, and they are not a distinguished crew. But they have given me a little insight into Nancy McDonald, the mother. They tell me that you only recognize two legitimate food groups macaroni and cheese and that the only new clothes that you ever bought them were underwear and that the only time you got upset was when one child drew blood from another and that your idea of a family outing was dropping off the whole crew at Waco Tanks on Saturday morning and telling them to walk home. But I guess that's Dealing with that unruly mob on a daily basis is the best possible training that you can have for serving in the Texas legislature. And I'm glad you're there in the legislature. We've got a tough fight ahead of us as we try to make health insurance available to all Texans. And we're gonna need your expertise and your assistance. I believe it was the same compassion that led Nancy into nursing that has made her such an advocate for those who are most in need, and we're gonna call on her again. I'm pleased that so many of you have come out to honor Nancy this evening, 
and I know you're going to have a wonderful time. But now listen, take this tip from me. Don't let Will McDonald corner you. If he does, don't believe half of what he says. Thank you and good night.